So the main topic of my talk this morning was oligometastatic disease, which is, as the name says, a very early form of metata metastatic spread within the body. Uh, it raises interest because it is uh, believed that early treatment of this very uh, new metastatic spread may improve patient's outcome and delay, for example, systemic treatment by just addressing those uh, early lesions with specific treatment. So the generation of imaging is really important. It is proven that what we call oligometastatic disease will be seen differently according to this generation of imaging. It is now proven that what we call standard imaging modalities may miss some very early metastatic lesions, whereas in opposition, what we call modern imaging modalities detect these lesions. And these modern imaging modalities are, for example, PET, MRI, whole body MR, compared to the, what is called the previous or standard imaging modalities, which were in the field of uh, cancer, CT, and bone scintigraphy, for example. We do not know if uh, what I mentioned, that early treatment of oligometastatic disease really improves patient survival. It is theoretical and it is proven by preliminary studies, but it's, it is really important that we prove at large scale in so-called uh, randomized trials that this is the reality and this is uh, that this specific treatment is really uh, worth being undertaken in these patients. So we need to, for example, imagine trials comparing patients left untreated with this early uh, disease and compare patients uh, treated with specific treatment and to see if there is any improvement in the outcome of those populations. So uh, I think that the, the wish of the ORTC imaging group is to create and bring to real life uh, trials, definitely addressing this question of the value of an early diagnosis of oligometastatic disease and of a specific treatment. We are busy um, putting this uh, trial into, bringing them into reality. Mm -hmm.